Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the premiere episode of the Two Minute Drill with myself, Cowboys Blog, and my co-host, Cowboys Fan Talk, in the house. What's going on, Cowboys Fan Talk? What's going on, Joe? Yeah, so today, guys, we're going to present the the uh, little preview here of the game. Cowboys going up against the Cardinals. It is Monday Night Football. Cardinals are coming to AT&T Stadium to take on the Cowboys, and this is going to be a barn burner. So let's break this game down, okay? First, we're going to look at players to watch. First off, on offense, I'm going to be looking at Andy Dalton in this game. What I want to see from him is the momentum. You know, he had a you know a pretty good quarterback rating, got the, got the Cowboys – punched in the touchdown in that game and two field goals and you know the rest is history we're able to pull out the win now we're going to get a full game of Andy Dalton for me all eyes are on Andy Dalton and that's how it is in Dallas you're the quarterback all eyes are on you it's what have you done for me lately every quarterback's gone through the gauntlet Tony Romo Dak Prescott you got the lovers and haters Andy Dalton time now so I'll be watching him on offense defensively I'm looking at Trayvon Diggs in this game, Cowboys fan talk, because what I want to see from him is you're going to have to step up, you know, this big boy pants now. No, you, no question. D-Hop, <laughs> no. Nuke. You don't want to get nuked by Nuke. This guy is, to me, I love special players in this league, and uh, DeAndre Hopkins is right there, man. I, I, I love the way he plays, and uh, he's going to have his hands full, but, man, it's going to be good experience for Trayvon Diggs to have in this game, but... Uh, he can't have he can't have too many beats where he's getting burned off his out of his mind. So that's gonna be a good one. If he can hold his own, I think we'll be in good shape. But you still have other weapons that you gotta watch. You know, Fitzgerald, Andy Isabella. The offense is really built a certain way that it, it could pose some problems for the Cowboys. But Cowboys fan talk, who do you have on offense and defense? Okay, offensively, um, I'm gonna definitely be focusing on the fan favorite, which is um CD Lamb. Um, reason being is I think it's not that CeeDee Lamb's been under the radar because it's hard to be under uh, <laughs> under the radar as CeeDee Lamb. I'm thinking that they're going to start to shade coverage them. They might even put Peterson on them. Um, just trying to take him out of the game because as I've been seeing, they've, they've been focusing on Amari and even Gallup and CeeDee's just been kind of running free. So I'm thinking they might try to mix it up and, and try to double team um, Amari and then put all of the focus by putting Peterson on CD and see if they can throw off our um, our passing game. So I want to see what CD does. I also want to see if they're going to move CD out, split them out wide, if they do that, and to try to shake up the offense. Because once you start to try to take him away, you got to have to start moving him around, I feel like, and not just keeping him in the slot. Um, as far as defensively, I'm going to be looking at Donovan Wilson. I think that Donovan Wilson has gotten his feet wet slightly, but I think that the last game – the way that it shook out, he didn't really get tested like he will get tested this game. <laughs> with oh, yeah. the, um, the, the firepower that Arizona has and the fact that Kyler Murray can't get it to him. If we don't mess up Kyler Murray and his passing lanes because, you know, he, he, he likes to move the pocket because he's so small and create passing lanes by rolling out. So we got to watch for the bootleg and we definitely need Donovan Wilson to not bite on any play action. That's been killing us. So I want to see how he does it because um, Thompson's been terrible with play action. So let's see what Donovan Wilson can do. See if we can finally shore up that safety safety spot. Great take there, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Our players to watch for this game, Monday Night Football. Now, how do the Cowboys win this game, Cowboys fan talk? So what, what I'm looking at is the Cowboys, they need to expose that Cardinals run defense. You know, they're giving up a lot of yardage in the run game. You know, Chandler Jones is on IR, so... He plays a run good, 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 good at passing, uh, pass rushing the quarterback. So Cowboys, let's let's see if we can be not lopsided. We've heard McCarthy say we got to get away from being so lopsided. Let's pound the rock with Ezekiel Elliott. Open up the the play action. You know we're probably not going to see naked boots and that kind of thing from Andy Dalton, <laughs> but you know he has a good arm. He's got a great arm. They call him the Red Rifle for a reason. So expose that open up you know the this offense this is this has been a very prolific offense you know so let's open it up let's pound this, these guys on the ground in the air and not be one dimensional if you become one dimensional you're going to find yourself in trouble again defensively speaking cowboys fan talk Kyle Murray for me you got to you got to corral this guy you know you know you're going to get burnt on a couple of plays here like you know uh, Russell Wilson but you got to you got to mitigate the damage so Will they spy him? Possibly, but, you know, just 
keep him corralled. If you if you can let him not burn you with with his wheels, and let him beat you with his arm. No question. Try to get at him, you know, with with these defenders, and uh, let, let's go to work, man. What what do you have on how the Cowboys win this game? I think um, my biggest thing um, at, to touch on on one of the players you highlighted, um, Andy Dalton. I need Andy to come out and play like the veteran that he is. I don't need Andy to come out and be timid. I want him to let it fly, just let it go. So I want him to trust his instincts. Like he, did. I think you know how the adrenaline was rushing and pumping when he got put in because he was like, "Oh, Dax out." And, you know, I saw him tucking his jersey in and getting him ready, and I know he was like, "Oh, oh this is real." Yeah. You know, and the first couple of plays, I know the jitters. That's where that fumble came from. He ain't had a snap right with um Beatus. Yeah. But I think once he got settled, he, you know, he's like, "I got this." I want him to carry that over. Don't come out this week like, okay, I'm looking for check downs and I'm going to just try to manage this game. If we wanted a game manager, we wouldn't have signed a veteran backup quarterback like him. We want somebody that, hey, look, you got the keys to the car. Let it fly. You got all the, he ain't had as many weapons in Cincinnati. He got weapons now and he need to use them. There's no reason to having all those weapons if you're going to just take check downs all day. As far as defensively, I'm really looking for our defensive our front seven, I know they've been struggling, especially up the middle with the D tackles, but I'm looking for Alna Smith and D Law to be getting their hands up. I need them to be changing Kyler Murray's launch point. He's so small. Um, Alna Smith has extremely long arms, it's weird, but <laughs> I feel like if he can get his hands up, even when he can't get to him, they need to be stressing that this week, just getting your hands up and making him sidearm some throws. And because I know he, he's been doing it his whole career because he's always been short. But you have to get him off his spot. Kyler Murray likes to roll to certain spots and get in the passing lanes because he has no choice. So if you can't get to him, disrupt those passing lanes, get those hands up, and be active that way. Because I feel like if you can change off, change the timing of him trying to get his passes off through those passing lanes, it'll disrupt their whole offense. Absolutely. Great point there, but Cowboys fan talk. That's why I have him here as my host, guys. And now we're gonna get to the final segment here. The final prediction of this game, Cowboys fan talk. For me, I have the Cowboys winning this game 27 to 24. I think the Cowboys start to get things under control defensively and offensively. I want to see a more even kill game. 27 24. What do you have on this game? I'm going to be a little bit more optimistic because, like I said, I want Andy to let it fly. And I feel like what will happen is we will come out. If I know Dallas, like I know Dallas, we're going to come out timid. It's frustrating, but it's fine. I think we're going to come out trying to establish Zeke, which is important. It's going to keep our defense health, or healthy, keep our defense rested for earlier in the game, which will keep the game close. But I think we're going to end up scoring 34, and they'll end up with like 24. The reason being, I feel like we're going to get like two late scores because I feel like we're going to be able to break the will of Arizona. I saw Detroit put up some points on Arizona. And although they, they got some decent weapons, Detroit ain't got nothing on Dallas. I feel like if we can come out playing with purpose, it might be close, but I think later in the game, we can break their will and probably get probably get a, a, a cheap score or two, which will get us to 34. I really do think that'll happen. There it is, guys. You know, top to bottom coverage here, Cowboys blogging, Cowboys fan talk. You heard it here. We're going victory all the way in this game for the Cowboys. Let us know in the comments what you think. Who are your players to watch in this game? And give us your predictions in the comments. We do appreciate you guys. No and if you haven't already, hit up my boy, Cowboys Fan Talk. Where can they find you at, bro? Oh, Cowboys Fan Talk. Um, Cowboys Space Fan Space Talk. Um, you can also find me on um, Twitter at Cowboys Fan Talk and on um, Instagram at Cowboys Fan Talk. Um, yeah, I've been in this for a little over, what, three months? Just trying to grow this thing. I really appreciate Joe bringing me aboard and Hopefully we can do this for y'all week to week. Yeah, this will be a week to week thing, guys. And we appreciate you checking out our premiere episode. We love you guys. Continue to support the channel. Hit my boy up and we'll catch you for the next two minute drill. Peace out, everybody. Yes, sir.